What's up, guys? I'm GamerMD83, and I am here with Oliver, producer on Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Um, we just saw the demo and blown away. I, I was literally like smiling the whole time, especially when uh, Adam turns Titan. Right. It's oh my, my God. favorites too. <laughs> so, could we talk about the new augments? Is that something that you guys are keeping on the down low, or ask away? Yeah. Okay, cool. Absolutely. So, I asked I asked you guys for uh, some questions. So, I'm going to be asking some of your guys' questions, uh, as well as some of my own. So, Oliver, the game takes place uh, two years after Human Revolution, and we see. A uh, very industrialized world. Would you say that the world is more hostile this time around? I would say so. I, two years after the events of Human Revolution, with the big AUG incident, where all the augmented population was triggered into a frenzy, people really now are scared of augmented people, and they were pushed away into ghettos. And a lot of politics are played around all this uh, segregation now that happens. So when you think about the themes of this game, it's a little bit like their sex meets uh, District Nine. Oh, dude, <laughs> I love that movie. <laughs> what I found really interesting about the trailer was we now see an Adam that has gone from I didn't ask for this to sometimes you have to let go and embrace what you have become. Yeah. Uh, will this acceptance have a big impact on Adam Jensen while we're playing, uh, while we're playing him in Mankind? Yeah, this time around, it, in Human Revolution, Adam was really asked to do different things, and but in this one, he really takes the fight to the Illuminati. So he's working with the anti-terrorist group called TF29, but he's also suspecting TF29 to be maybe controlled by the Illuminati, so he's investigating them at the same time. So the narrative really empowers a lot of uh, Adam Jensen in, in this one. This game will be strictly new-gen NPC. I'm sure it must open a lot of doors when it comes to graphics and performance, but have these new capabilities affected any of the actual content in the series? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, we invested into our own engine at IDOS Montreal called the Dawn Engine, and with this engine we have much more tools for our level artists and level designers to create bigger levels, more verticality, more different options for the player. And a Dare Sex game, one of the pillars is multi-padding. You can choose and move the way you want and choose explore the levels. So now our levels are bigger, they're more vertical, so there's more options for the player. You really feel it when you explore our end. The Titan. Yes. Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm really glad you asked any questions about the Titan because it, it's my personal favorite. It's I, my I personal say. favorite too. When he just gets that skin, I, I was about to scream. <laughs> so the Titan shield is something that really helps the player through combat. And you know, for this game, we want to bring combat to the same level that stealth is. Stealth is still super, super important for us, but combat bringing, bringing it to the same level was, was an important uh, challenge for the team. So Titan is, is part of this. We have other augmentations that you probably saw in the demo. Um, everything that's with the gun arm. So yeah. Jensen has a mechanical arm that he can use fluidly through combat. So you have a, a peps gun that really just pushes uh, and pieces away. You have a nano blade now that you can actually use as a projectile, even to explode behind cover. Um, so all these new augmentations really boost the combat and the different options for the player. I definitely felt it. I was. It felt almost like Adam is almost a a one man army. Almost like you really could. It's so there's so much tactics in it, and you yes. you really could decide how to do everything. How much is choice involved in this game? Choice is uh, the core aspect of the game. You can customize Adam the way you want. Like Obviously, you saw a lot of different new augmentations. The player will have to choose, pick and choose how he wants to play. So choice and consequences is gameplay, but it's also really much the story, how you talk to characters, how you act in the world. You play stealth. Are you lethal, non-lethal? Everything has an impact, a consequence for the player. And you know, obviously a Dare Sex game, you want to have multiple endings and all these things, but for us, it was really building choice and consequences in the narrative, so at the end, it's not just sort of a pushing a button, it's it's built organically throughout your gameplay, and at the end, you'll feel your different choices with the, the end game that you're going to get. I read that the endings from Human Revolution were going to be treated as ambiguous in this game. Does that mean that whatever is going on in the world in Mankind Divided would have happened regardless? Yeah, and what happened at the end of Human Revolution was a huge incident for the world population. So normal people, they didn't really know what happened. There's a lot of misinformation. So for us, we left it ambiguous. 
and that's where we pick things up. But obviously the theme of the game is augmented people being segregated, and that's the main uh, sort of uh, driver of our narrative team. Yeah. Okay. And do you have to play Human Revolution to play this game? No, you don't. Human Revolution, there's a lot that happened. Uh, we're going to provide like refreshers for the player, but if you want to come in fresh, if you're a new fan of the Deus Ex franchise, uh, you can pick it up and, and just you know get it going and enjoy it. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. So I think we'll end it there. Thank you so much for the interview. That was a lot of in, uh, impo important information there. Uh, so I will be talking more about Deus Ex, Mankind Divided, especially the demo. We could go, we could talk about the demo. Awesome. So yeah, I'll be talking about the demo for sure and geeking over that. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Of course. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.